Hello and welcome back for my tutorials. In this tutorial I will show how you can use the while loop in C++. First we need to, to create a, a repeat statement in boolean. It's because we can repeat something in the while loop until we hit a speak effect uh, number, boolean, int, character, whatever you want. But in this case I will show you how you can use it in, in with, with using the boolean. Um, first it's repeating the true and if the repeats change to false then we will go out of the while loop. It could be this way. So we first we need first to tell it's, it's a boolean repeat repeat it's equal to true. We need to um, repeat every time it's true so now it's meaning we want to repeat until the repeat change to false so now we need to int loop number it's equal to zero and the first we do inside here it's say it should be loop number is plus plus it's meaning we incremented. We we need uh, to tell what loop we are in. So here it's your loop number is loop number and new line. If you run this, it will be um, running until we stop it, and it will use all your CPU. Um, uh, process uh, power. <clears throat> so let's try and I can stop it again after. We need a if statement and I will show you why. You can see here it's incremented, it's going very fast and it's how many loops we've done. So let's stop the loop. If we say if the loop number hit 100 we want to turn the repeat to false that means it's when it hits 100 it should break out that's trying about it's uh, working as you can see it's uh, it's hitting 100 and then it's a stop and our script is done if you don't having a a way to to quit your wild loop, it uh, will be infinity. So that's mean um, you will use all your power in the computer, and your program is, yeah, useless. So remember to quit your wild loop, and uh, and that's for now. Thank you for watching, and hoping you like it, and you're f welcome to follow my channel. If you like this video, you can like it below and post the feedback as a comment. Thank you and see you next time.